If you need anything, just a lever. Good touch. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to a gift call on what is talk to the entities. And I'm going to um, entertain you or engage you guys for the next one hour or so. We can even go more depending on what questions you have. Um, so feel free to ask questions anytime. Do unmute yourself and ask questions or you can type on the Zoom chat too. If you're on Instagram also, you can type your question and I'll see as how much I can get to. And this isn't like a pre-intro call. It's not even an introduction. It's like a pre-introduction of what it is. So there are a lot of things which um, I can tell you what the class is about and where we'll go and what are the benefits. But I, I can't tell you exactly how to do it because how to do it is um, the 2.5 day talk to the entities class. So let's get started. And we're recording this. So the recording will be available for anyone in the group who's missed this call. So, and if you're going to... Um, you know, kind of be on video or ask questions, uh, your voice, your face will be in the recording. So uh, if you do not want to be in the recording, then suggest not to do that. So how does it get better? And let's get started. And please do interrupt me anytime. Do ask any questions. I'm going to keep you all on mute. Uh, please unmute okay. yourself. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. So I'm going to mute all of you. If you have questions, you can unmute yourself. Thank you. So let's get started. What is talk to the entities? What is an entity? And what, what is the curiosity that got you to this call, right? So let's start with, uh, do all of you have an idea of access consciousness? Anyone has never heard of access consciousness before? Is everyone, um, everyone understands the clearing statement, right, wrong, good, bad, hot box, all nine shots, voice, poets, and beyond, yeah? That's like a magic wand. When you say those words, something just gets cleared from your conscious and subconscious till the roots of it. So everything you've defined as talk to the entities, will you now destroy and uncreate it? Say yes, all of you. Just say yes, right, wrong, good, bad. What book, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. And even if you don't understand what I'm saying, if you say yes, when I ask will you destroy and uncreate it, things will shift, okay? So what have you defined as talk to the entities? Everything that is when you destroy and create it, right, wrong, good, bad, what book, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. So what exactly is an entity? And in English, an entity is anything and everything is an entity. So you're an entity, I'm an entity, this house is an entity, your bank account is an entity, do you know that? Would you like to know how to talk to your bank accounts to increase your money? That's something I can teach you and I can tell you how to do in the talk to the entities class. So there are things, everything is an entity. What if everything has consciousness and you can awaken them and interact with them? And the way they interact with you will be very, very different. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, in general, in access, an entity is a being without a body. Who is that? Who doesn't have a body? So everything that brought up in that down will be now destroyed and created. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. So these are these beings are termed with different different words, spirits, ghosts. Have you guys heard of the words? Demons, all these different different words. Beings that do not actually have bodies, angels, all all these things are called in general, these are called entities. So would you like to know how to interact with the spirit world? What happens in this world? Now one common logical point of view, uh, most of this, most of us, or most of this reality functions from is, if I can't see it, it shouldn't be true, right? If you've not seen something, it's not true. If you've not experienced it, it's not true. Do, you, do we see the air that we breathe? But we know it exists, right? We don't question that the air uh, with, that we breathe, even though we've not seen it, because we know it's there. Similarly, when people die, we just cannot assume that they're gone or that's it, right? Because it's the body that dies. What happens to the being or the soul that was in the body? What happens there? And that's what Talk to the Entities will open up for you. Why, why are people still on earth after they die? What's happening with them? 
where do they go and how can you facilitate them? And why would you even facilitate entities? I mean, why should I talk to dead people? What is the point? Do any of you know what's, what are the benefits of working with dead people? Because it's, it's enough, you know, dealing with alive people is also. Can you guys hear? Yes. Me? Yeah, okay. Yes, you hear. Yeah, we can talk to the entities as the class name is. And then we can take help from them. We can take guidance from them. Okay. Hi, this name. From your earlier classes. From your earlier classes, I have I have got to know this much. Oh, how amazing. What class did you yeah. take? Uh -huh. Hi, I think Nitya. Intro, intro itself. Intro, yeah. hello. Okay. You're looking so beautiful, Nitya. Oh, thank you, this name. You too. I'm so happy to. I'm just going to uh, put on my speaker. And thank you so much for this call. You're welcome. I just put on my speaker because someone said they couldn't hear me. I hope that's better. Um, so, how does it get better? Yes. So, Tasneem is my lovely host. She's invited me to Indore to do this 2.5 day class. From May 19th yes. to 2.5 days. It should be 21. Yes. Yeah. I just yes. didn't know. I want to avoid the math. So I said 19 to 2.5 days. So how does it get better than that? Yeah. Uh, so this name has invited me to indoor and it's a live class in indoor happening in May. So if you like what you're hearing today, please do come. And I will do being doing classes in Bangalore. I am based out of Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi. So let me know if you would like to attend talk to the entities anywhere. Uh, ping me and we can set it up. But right now, the hot one is Indore. How does it get better? The beautiful yes. city. I think all the entities of that place have invited me, including this mega entity, Tasneem, sweetest person, one of the sweetest people I know. So how does it get better? Monica says, even yeah. Ahmedabad. So Indore is May 19th to 21st. Uh, Tasneem will be posting all the details in the group after this call. So do not worry about that. And how does it get better? So why should we clear entities? Why should we talk to the entities? What's the, I mean, it's enough talking to live people, you know, so much energy is spending in talking to live people and arguing with your family and whatnot. Why should we even talk to dead people? What is the point? Well, one, it's fun. It's exciting. Have you ever heard that you can talk to dead people? Have you ever done it? Isn't it something new, something different? Would you like to do it? One's that. Two is, they are much better than, at least my point of view. It's, it's really my interesting point of view. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to have that point of view. But I feel dead people are easier to deal with than live people, right? Live people kind of betray you and then they can actually show faces with different emotions, which you understand. When dead people show that many emotions, you're not going to feel it that much. So it's going to be okay. It's much easier to interact with them. It's much easier to interact with them. It's kind of a service that you do to those people who are still here, and they don't know what to do after they've died. And the point is, we also don't know what to do after we've died. No one has told you, right? Has anyone told you what's going to happen after you die? Does anyone even talk about it? Are you aware? But all of you know that one day our body will die. But we're not aware of what happens after. And this is the same case for people who die today. What if we can tell them? What if you get to know for yourself what's going to happen after you die? And what's going to happen? What's happening to them? And you can show them, you can help them with choices. What can you do uh, when you don't have a body? What are the different choices available to you? This is information that you, as a talk to the entities practitioner, if you do the 2.5 day course, will be able to provide to them. And also, have you guys felt like when you sleep at the night, someone is there around me, or I feel frightened, or you wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning, all of a sudden, and you're like, something woke me up. And when you wake up, sometimes there's a scratch in your body or something. And, and wherever you go, sometimes you feel extremely heavy, especially, have you guys been to hospitals? Who feels good when you go to a hospital? No, very rare. I don't. Some people do. Uh, I guess doctors have to. They don't have a choice. But uh, it doesn't feel great when you're around hospitals because a lot of entities over there, a lot of people die over there. And what happens there is a different story. So that, that energy is there. So what if you don't have to have that fear of something is there around me or someone is waking me up in the night? What if you never have to doubt yourself? Why am I talking about doubting yourself? Because if you can talk to a dead person, would you ever doubt yourself again? I mean, that's magic, right? That's something that a lot of people do not do. A lot of people don't even believe in that. 
And that's the unconsciousness because what does happen to people after they die? How can they just disappear? How can you like not even think that there is life after death? How can we like be so, because we've not seen it or we've not heard of it, it's not true. That's not the case. So it's an experience. And when you start doing that, you get a sense of you are something much, much more. There is so much to the spirit world. There's not only this world. There's not only the physical world. There's a spirit world. There's something much more you can do. And you really start acknowledging yourself. It's a gift. And many of you are already gifted in doing it. And I think all of you in this class would be gifted to do that. That's why you're here. If you feel you're not gifted, it's just that you're not aware. You're not sure how to use your gifts or no one taught you how to use it. Yes, this name. Yes. So Nitya, like uh, since I have announced this class and uh, I'm seeing that so many possibilities are showing up. So actually the entities have already started contributing. contributing. It feels as if they, okay. Yes. And even before when I like th this would be my probably third uh, talk to the entities class I have done earlier. And I have found that like, like my bills have been paid off, like magically something has shown up which uh, nothing logically can explain so can you talk more about receiving from entities yeah let me talk about it thank you this name that yeah. was so cool of you uh, like i said this call the entities of indoor have invited me so access is so amazing in telling you all the different things you can do with entities it's not only about hey there's a ghost let me like you know exercise it or let me like send it out or you know it's not like that. It's something much, much more. And um, so we can get money through entities. And that's something you'll hear only in Access, which is so amazing. Like Tasneem just gave a live example. So we will actually facilitate you in the class, tell you what tools you can use for that. And, and are the dead people going to pay you money? Yeah, they are. They're going to bring some of their relatives to you. They're going to ask they're going to get your facilitation via someone else who will pay you. They will give you blessings, spiritual blessings, which is beyond anything else. They will be grateful for you because they are people. When you truly help someone, aren't they grateful for you? A lot of people are. A lot of people aren't. Depends on the person. So the dead person is similar. Some of them are so grateful for what you do and it comes with a blessing. So that is receiving from them. And even this constant headaches that you have uh, when you go to hospitals or um, if you're not able to sleep in the night or you wake up at 3 a.m. and you have weird stuff going on, that will change. Isn't that receiving? Amazing sleep, embodiment of your body to the highest, to the best way you can. Amazing sleep, amazing eating. You don't keep sneezing all the time because these are things we pick up from entities. Isn't that just, that's receiving your body itself. So that changes. Money, money does come. Um, I've seen it. The reason I started facilitating talk to the entities is I just saw how much I can get from entities and it's not a fear it's more of a curiosity for me what else can I do with entities would you like to know what else you can do with entities so do you have this land that never sells do you have this ancestral property that never never sells do you know that an entity of your ancestor could be there and say it's my property I don't want it to sell and you think it's your property they are dead but they're like it's my property so would you like to talk to them and change what's happening with your property these are magical things you can do. Even if there's a haunted house. Have you guys heard of haunted houses? They're not only in movies. There are some real haunted houses here and there, which maybe not to the extent of movies because movies kind of over-exaggerate um, the concept of entities. But if you do find a house or even an item, right? Someone died and they never left their gold bangle because it was their favorite bangle. Now you have it, but you cannot use it. Every time you use it, something goes wrong. Okay, because the entity just didn't want you to have that. But you can learn to clear it, cooperate with them, talk to them, and then the bangle is yours. It works for you. You can clear stuff from haunted houses and sell it. Now it's no longer haunted. Then it's, it's just a house. So you can, you can do amazing stuff. Uh, Gary had an entity, a dead being, that to tell him the price of antiques. And he will go with that entity to the shop and it will tell that to buy it at this price, buy it at that price. And he would buy it accordingly. So they can also contribute to you in these ways. And I had one of my, one of my clients who's like Indian, but he learned Russian with the help of entities. He was like, these dead people in my room, they came and taught me how to talk Russian. 
Would you like those capacities? Would you like to receive things like that? And without fear. And why are we? Why am I saying without fear? Because if you don't fear a live person, there's no reason to fear a dead person, right? They're just without a body. The only difference is body and no body. So what's the what's the requirement to even fear a dead person? And like I said, they're more easier. They're not going to hit you as such. They're not going to betray you. They're not going to like, you know, talk long, bad words. It's very different the way you communicate with them. The way you communicate with them is different from the way you communicate with live people. And we will give you so many tools where uh, you can actually take this forward. So that is, that, 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 that's a huge topic that we'll talk about. Uh, we'll talk about clearing. Clearing is helping those people who require your help. Now, why should I just help them, right? Why should I help them? This is a big question. Why should I just help someone? If someone needs help, what is the point of helping them? Well, clearing entities will give you space in your head. Otherwise, you hear the entity talking in your head also if they are with you, right? And I'll give you an example. So I had this client who's around 35 years and he has high BP and extreme knee pain. Now, 35 years, extreme knee pain, usually not supposed to happen, right? So when I was working with him, he had a 65-year-old entity. It was his own grandma. And his name and his grandma's grandmother's name was the same. How many of you have done that? It was like, it's, it seemed when the baby was born, the grandmother died. So they've kept the same name for the grandma and him. And how many of you have that? Right? So when you do that, you limit the kid uh, to just be like their grandma, not much more when you do that. So the grandmother's entity never left. She is guarding the kid. She's staying with the kid. But the problem is, and her intents are not bad, but the problem is, the body is meant for only one being. Your body is like literally a one-bedroom house that functions properly if there's one person. If there are two people, it's crowded. If there are five people, it's a different story. You're like, you'll be so unpresent and you want to you want to fall down. Imagine five people running. And five people running this body, running a body is literally like a breakdown. So you get disease of five people. You get anger of five people. You don't get angry. You explode because it's not one person, it's five people. Imagine a body like that. That's what happens when these entities are there in your body. So you clear them for you, for you to have so much peace with your body. And when I cleared that grandmother's entity, his knee pain literally vanished and his BP also started reducing. So when you see things like this, where, where you know, it's so unusual for for. For example, there's a seven-year-old kid who has diabetes. Diabetes is like mostly for people who are old. So it could be an entity. And again, I'm not concluding that's an entity. We don't conclude about anything, but we kind of explore and see if they're entities. But these are high likely chances of entities. And clearing them gives you a different sense of space and peace. And someone asked about... What if we come across an evil entity, Anupama? So what if you do come across them? We will help you facilitate that too. And, and uh, no entity is as evil as, um, you know, probably some other life people you've met in your life, I'm sure. So do not worry about that. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. It is people. Uh, and we will teach you how to deal with all sorts of entities, how, what are the tools you can use, and how to handle different types of entities. We will talk about all the different types of entities. Um, there are frozen entities which make you feel extremely cold. There are smoke entities or alcohol entities which are addicted to alcohol. And when they kind of uh, get into your body, they make you want to like smoke a lot or drink more alcohol. If you have addictions, that could be a sign of an entity because um, someone who wants to smoke or eat, you eat for one person. But if there are five people in the body, then you start overeating, right? Even eating can be an addiction. Overeating could be a sign of entities. So all these things, these patterns can change so easily because access is all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. So would you like to change these patterns with ease, joy, and glory? And when you use these tools for people in your family, there's a different sense of peace in your house. There is a different sense of peace. And I like to say this, it's a tool, so you have to use it. It's not that you come to the class, you learned it, and then you never used it. And then you're like, it didn't change. Okay. See, if you have a toothbrush and you don't brush your teeth, 
your teeth are still going to get decayed, right? So use them and, and use them daily. These are day-to-day -to -day tools. They are not even something that has to be done once in a month or when I feel low or when I go to the hospital. Can be done every day, should be done every day, by the way. Because an entity kind of attaches to you only because of you. Not because of anyone else, not because of the entity. So there is something in you that triggers the entity to attach to you, right? It could be fear, it could be worry, it could be anxiety. And, and if you look at you, how many thoughts have you thought today, right? How many thoughts have you thought? Even if you're really cool and expanded and you're like, I'm not afraid of anything, still there is there is someone tells you something and you know, I feel rejected. And then you may attract an entity that was rejected. And then how many of you say, there's no one for me, I feel lonely, <laughs> right? At least in the month, have you done that once? And then you can attract a lon lonely entity. It's very easy for us to get into some emotions and think negative. It's normal, right? We, we are now training to, you know, um, kind of think very consciously and understand our powers, powers of our thought and stop thinking that way. But until then, there's high likely that we can attract entities. And a lot of your clients, even if you run bars for them, uh, Access Bars is a prereq for the Talk to the Entities class, by the way. So if you would like to join, especially in Indore, please get in touch with Tasneem or um, uh, Kanishka. And, Kanishka. Yeah, Kanishka. Geet or uh, you can get in touch yeah. with him and get your bars class done first, which is amazing and opens a lot of stuff. And then you can get in to talk to the entities because you need to be at a, at a level of receiving to even get grasp these concepts. And I'll make it as easy and as simple. You wouldn't get it simpler than that. So how does it get better? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys, boys, and girls. It's not as complicated as you think to, but you have a sense of peace. And when you do it for your clients, a lot of your clients would have entities more than what you can imagine. Because right now you may feel like I'm working with clients, they don't have entities because you don't have the awareness of what an entity would look like. Do they really have entities? But this will open a different world. And once you get the awareness, you will be amazed at how many of your clients may have entities, right? It's, it's very rare that a client of mine doesn't have entities, only if they've actually cleared it and they are in, and, and I would like to tell you guys this, if you're extremely grateful, nothing can affect you, but we're not extremely grateful all the time. There are times when we choose something else. And that's the reason why we require all these tools to clear things. Yeah. So um, Nathia, you know, like these... there's a question in yes. the chat box from Archana. She's asking if, if there like is depression also due, due to some entity. Yeah. Uh, Archana, it could be. So we have to. We can't say all depression is entities. It could be. But the first entity that starts the depression is you or the person who owns the body. <laughs> you have to have a little depression. And then there'd be five or 10 different entities that make you more depressed. So entities will add to what you're going through. They cannot, they won't start it. That's the first, that's one, one point to note. But how do you overcome this? And how do you, and if they are added also, it's, it's much hard to let it go, right? If they're already adding to your depression, now, if you say I take a depression pill, it's going to work on that one person who's taking the depression pill. What about the others? What about the others who have already attached? So we need to know how to clear them and also change our thoughts. So that is, we will cover uh, also a lot on how you should change your thoughts because it's not about only clearing. How do you stop attracting them, right? And then how can you have fun with them? Okay, so entities show me where, what should I do next? How, how can you engage these entities to even help you? Mukta is asking student for the exam, can they call an entity? <laughs> of course they can. Uh, we just have to be, we do not, what we are asking in access, what we're saying is em, you empower, do not ask for help. You are an infinite being. So please don't ask anyone to help you or don't get into a state where I need help, right? But there are different ways. We will we'll teach you how to get empowered with entities, not, not to ask for help. Because when you ask for help, what is your point of view? Your point of view is I don't have it or I can't do it myself, right? And then that doesn't create greater because you're already functioning from I can't do it or I'm pathetic. But, uh, and there are some amazing entities called teammates, which we will also talk about in the class. Teammates are those amazing entities who, who are your own team, who are beings without bodies, who are there for you from the day you were born until now. And you can play with them. And we say play because 
they're not they're not to tell you what to do or how to do they're here to walk on this journey with you they're here to be there for you and it's your choice what you do and how you do they're not here to take away your choice so how do you work with all of these things and then there there's some people who are you know um normal people they get a little more angry if they have entities or they have some disease if they have entities but there are some people who go to extremes where the body is so so full of disease right yes tasneem uh, nitya like uh, can you also talk a bit about like psychic attacks and black magic because i found that access like cleared so many doubts that i had about them during this and talk to the entities class yes yes um so let, let me get to that let me just finish this uh, my train of thought so there are yeah. some cases where some people have so much disease in their body where when you look at them you feel that you know something is wrong this doesn't look like a healthy life person or they're extremely drained or when you meet them you get drained these are called portals where the entity activity in that person is not just one or two or five it's continuous you clear entities more come you clear entities more come so how do we deal with people who are portals how do we deal with places or houses that are portals even if one of your properties not selling there could be a portal there this is another thing we'll talk about and psychic attacks psychic attacks is <laughs> this energy where you know someone is throwing so much hatred at you so much hatred at you they're attacking you energetically because this is an energy world before it's a physical world and have you guys felt that you think of someone and suddenly they call you you thought of your mother and then they call you out of nowhere and then you're like i wish something ha bad happened to this person and it happens have you guys faced that that's the power of your own thought now psychic attacks goes at one level above the hatred is really high and some people can also send entities they they capture dead people to attack you they do stuff like this there's something called voodoo which you might have seen in movies or heard of where they manipulate your energies um and then they try to harm you in the worst possible way so all of these things how how do you stop yourself how do you go beyond we're not even talking about stop we are infinite beings we're not going to tell you how to stop stuff we're going to tell you how to go beyond it would you like to be able to handle these things and shannon uh, is the founder of talk to the entities shannon ohara gary douglas is step daughter and she says don't be scared be scary so when you have scary entities after the class they're going to be afraid of you you're going to be the most scariest entity and i always say this when people are like oh my god i'm afraid of this person i'm like why shouldn't they be afraid of you i'm afraid of going out at 12 pm in the night oh, sorry did i say pm 12 am in the night i'm like why aren't the people in the road supposed to be more afraid of you aren't you that powerful <laughs> and then uh, the other thing if there's a scary entity don't be scared be scary can you be that empowered because you own your space man this is your body it's your space we will facilitate you we will give you the tools for you to own your own space so after that you're going to be scary you're not going to be scared of anything <laughs> and would you like that would you like to really go beyond fear would you like to go beyond doubt and then it's a different world and then it's a magical world it's no longer um like you know i'm afraid of this person i'm afraid of that person and what if i can also um literally open up so many doors for you to talk to anything and everything and also how you talk yourself out of self doubt because you are the biggest entity in your life so don't be scared be scary and if you don't want to be scary that's also a choice if you want to like i would like people to like me and not be scared of me that's fine too but if someone is abusing you and you know you have to be the energy of hey boss stop that if you do that you're dead you have to be scary at times right so when there's a very harmful entity we'll show you how you can be scary enough how you can go use the tools to go in a vibration beyond to stop being the effect of all of these stuff and it is magical for me when i first heard hey you can talk to ghosts i was like wow i was like that's so wow i was like can i do that and then there was much more like what more is there what more can it's such a, it was such a curiosity it wasn't like oh no they ghosts i'm so afraid of them and that was because of my mother i guess uh when since i was a kid we used to watch all these scary ghost movies my son right now ghost movies are his favorite i kind of outgrew i moved from horror into comedy but then i was like i used to watch all these ghost movies because they used to be fun and my mother would tell that's just makeup 
that's just not real so it kind of you know the whole point of view i got with it's not real it's not true so when they said you can actually talk to ghosts i was not like, i'm going to be afraid of them or i'm going to run away from them i was like really i would like to see these people i would like to perceive these people with our bodies i would like to know what's happening in their world where are they and isn't it it's so much ignorance is not bliss whoever told you ignorance is bliss it's not when you're aware of something you can change it when you're ignorant you don't even know what's happening and you won't even ask can i change this and life after clearing entities when you communicate with entities when you know what they're doing when you receive from entities is so much different from the current life you have and uh, life on earth is an experience wouldn't it wouldn't you like to experience the best of it would you would you like to be in fear all the time or would you like to make yourself lesser or would you like to experience everything so that is the a uh, question that you have to ask yourselves yeah so these are amazing things that will open in the class any questions you guys let me know i can if i can answer any of your questions i have a question nitya can i ask rashmi your yes rashmi yeah so i have done to my ttt class i have done my class and um, now when i am dealing with entities many times i feel that um, my body is not strong enough to handle the communication or the skin so is this my point of view ya aisa hota hai ki you need to build up that muscle to deal with them to talk to them or could it affect your body um so you have to ask yourself ask your body what's the awareness because it could be either it could just be a judgment it could be uh, that your body is asking you to build some more energy but you have to ask your body because it's it's completely dependent on you it's okay. not something that you know this will sort it or this is what it is right okay thank you you're welcome so um but in general if you're an infinite being there is nothing like you can't handle talking to entities it's just that you just have to ask yourself uh, what can i do more to get it what else do you have to do something is not working you have to either do something more or you have to change what you're doing it's as simple as that true yeah hari prasham dinner yeah ha yeah. uh, sorry if you're asking questions please unmute yourself otherwise do keep yourself on mute and and also um if you guys have pets and animals there are some animals also that attract entities it's not only like people attract entities you can actually uh, give a lot of changes to your pets with these tools you can work with any other anyone else's animals and see amazing behavior changes so there was one person who called me saying this cow suddenly refused to feed milk to its calf for two days and the calf was starving so i cleared entities she called me from somewhere in chennai and i cleared entities and when after i cleared the entities it was like the calf went back to the mother and the mother allowed the calf to uh, feed again so you can see amazing changes in your pets to trees <laughs> have you guys read those vikram vital stories where the entity or the demon is always on the tree <laughs> something is in the tree and then you go to a place and you're like oh my god this tree is scary it's giving me a headache you can clear the trees and the trees will give you back i mean the trees are giving us oxygen fresh air they're giving us so much already but when you clear an entity for the tree what they give you back is something else i won't even say give gift they will gift you back something else totally would you like that would you like to uh, know what the entities in nature are telling you there are nature spirits all over trying to revive the trees and trying to um, bring back the magic on earth that that was earth used to be much more magical much more conscious they trying to bring back all of that and when you say i would open myself to this world of talk to the entities you will contribute to that you will be contributing to the planet in amazing ways and you know the biggest gift you can give your planet is your laughter your happiness and if there are five people in your body it's kind of hard to be happy even if there are two but if there's one it's easier to be happy would you like to give that that's the greatest gift you can give ankit did you want to ask something you had unmuted yourself not sure if you wanted to ask anything Yes, Geeta. Hello, ma'am. Hi. I use. 
मैं कभी वहाँ पे रहती हूँ मतलब गाँव वाली घर पे रहती हूँ कभी यहाँ वाले दो कमरे जो खाली पड़ते हैं कभी यहाँ रहती हूँ तो मेरे को क्या करना चाहिए कि मतलब यहाँ पे एंट्री लेता हूँ तो मैं मुझे फील होता है कि कभी मेरे को भूख लग रही होती है अब जब से क्लास अनाउंस हुई है तो दो दिन से मेरी तबीयत खराब है और मेरे को बारह एक बजे भूख लगती है फिर मैं उठ के कुछ खाती हूँ गीता योर वॉइस इज वेरी Very, uh, it's not clear. But if you're asking me what I have to do, that is I'll tell you in the class. What to do, how to do is part of the class. Here we're just explaining what and all you can do if you want. Okay, uh, hi, Nitya. Okay. I have a question. Yes, Ankit. Yeah. So as you mentioned that uh, uh, there are certain people who act as a portal. Once you clear, they pick up more entities, and there are properties who act as a portal, and they don't allow to get them sell, uh, sell off. so what can we do for such people and for such properties uh so there is an amazing portal clearing as part of the top to the entities class uh there okay. are many steps it's not one step it's a three four step process and okay. there are access tools so right wrong good bad is a clearing statement like that we will give you the exact statements how to okay. do the portal first how to identify if the person is a portal two mm. why are they holding on to the portal three mm. uh, if there is a portal there are some different types of entities guarding the portal the problem is if i clear the entities there are other entities that reopen them so we'll tell you mm. what those entities are how you can address them uh, for example if there is an entity called a frozen entity you need to address it as frozen entity you, if you mm. clear normal entities frozen entities which create lot of cold in the body will not go so what are these okay. entities that are keeping the portal open what are their names how do you address them and then how mm. do you clear them and how do you close the portal okay that's the okay. that's what we will and okay. and, and uh, if the person wants to bring it back they will bring it back it's a different story but you okay. can definitely close it for them okay and uh, we i've seen like why would why would a person sorry to interrupt you in between why would a person open a portal once again uh, people have this point of view that they actually like to suffer that they actually oh. want to kill their body like the whole life they're like i don't know why i'm alive i don't know what's the point of life and you know uh, i should have this disease that disease and they wake up with my body is paining have you seen people like that like every day they complain this part is pain mm-hmm. that life is not mm-hmm. this is not working mm-hmm. so you're asking your body to die when you keep on talking like that so then mm-hmm. stay open so okay. entities don't want to stay with us we want to hold on to the entities people life people hold on to the dead people dead people if you just tell them you need to go they are more than willing to go okay, okay. and and many people i've met you can just empower them you can tell them hey boss if you do this yeah they love challenges that's name is saying you can say hey boss if you do this your money reality will change hey don't worry about money simple don't worry about money simple rule your money reality will change but they love to worry about money they can live without worrying about money and they like today i worried about money yesterday i worried about money i worry i'm worrying about this one rupee they'll do the opposite it's it's just choice one is, is sometimes they're just so unconscious that they want to do it sometimes they're so used to it uh i have had knee pain for 10 years of my life suddenly if you don't have if i don't have it i don't like it something has to show me i'm alive something <laughs> has to be wrong in my body to show me that i'm alive otherwise it doesn't make sense so many reasons and some people just hold on to it because they can yes and and some people hold on to it because like then if i have a portal i'm sick all the time all these family will take care of me they will take me to the hospital they will feed me if i'm <laughs> if i'm healthy then no one <laughs> right it's like need for attention so many reasons so basically subconsciously they are asking for it right yes yes and what about the properties then how do properties become portals uh properties uh will become portals if for example um there are good portals also there are bad portals also so in earth there are some places where there's lot of extreme spiritual energy that keeps coming through like egypt okay. for example just keeps uh-huh. on coming uh that that's kind of a natural portal which we don't have to close which is perfectly fine and properties okay. could be like if there's an oath and vow like the person who owned the property before they died mm. they said this will be mine no one else should touch it whatever mm. it is i'll be here then it mm. could be uh and uh, you know someone has done some kind of psychic attack or black magic to open mm. something that stops you so various reasons okay Quite they, satisfactory they answers. Thank, thank you so much, Nitya. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, they can target you. They can target your property. They can target your family. So it's like, uh, okay. and if you are strong enough, they're like, who else is there in the family? You know, it's it's like mm-hmm. people. All all these are like like live people. Very okay. very strange what they do. Yeah. So like, if I'm uh, stronger, so they they might target uh, the weaker ones in my family. Yeah, they might. 
so then how oh. do you like do this extend this to your family and oh. uh, how do you empower your family how do you tell them to be beyond fear so these are all the things that we will look into it's an amazing oh. manual and the flow chart that tells you how to communicate with entities is very simple you just have to go through it step by step and and mm -hmm. practice it few times before you get it in fact shannon the founder of top to the entities was saying uh, when she first learned that tool uh, from her father gary she was like i didn't even know whether it will work or not i would just repeat it repeat it repeat it and then i started feeling better you feel lighter i mean if your body doesn't have anything attached to it how light does it feel and we've seen people lose excess weight when you let go of these entities we've seen like i said pain has gone away addictions change depression changes lot of behaviors can change and this is something essential uh, everyone should know these whether it's access bars or access foundation or talk to the entities these are things which i believe everyone who has a body should know beings without bodies are smart they come and sit in the class anyway <laughs> but for all the beings without bodies uh, i'm asking please bring a life person who pays on your behalf and then you can sit with them so that's some that's one way to make money too and you know that's the fun of it when you're asking something in access ask for people with bodies hey i would like this many people with bodies right to come and talk to me or this many people with bodies to pay me because if you say i want people to pay me then entities will show up and they will pay you but it doesn't show up as money and you can't see them in your class so you don't even know the, that the universe has already granted your desire but you're thinking it's not happening you know is amazing stuff it just takes you to a different level of awareness and a different level of what's happening so that's that's what i've uh, noticed and i really enjoy talking with entities whether it is dead people whether it is um, i do a lot of shamanic work also which not access is different but whether it's talking to animal guides whether it's talking to trees or whether it's talking to my bank account or my car it's amazing so my car is like um this entity who's like will you drive me properly i have to drive the car sorry would you allow me to drive you properly so don't make sure we don't get into any accidents take care of me all these things what and all can you tell your car and i have named my car so i've given her given him or her a name so i don't know if it's a him or a her but it's like something and every time i in my car i'm like how are you today where do you want to go today and i actually i really do this if i have to give my car to someone else to drive i ask my car are you okay if this person drives you and then only <laughs> i will give my car i don't give it to anyone just like that because i i truly respect the entity of my car it has a consciousness of its own it knows what to do and it has protected me in so many ways which i can't even explain so would you like to do that with anything with anything and everything and that's something that we will kind of um put 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 you through in the class uh we will practice also receiving communicating we have some exercises that open up and the best part is we'll give you the recording of the class of the 2.5 days class so when you do it after 6 months or a year it'll feel like a new class it'll it'll feel like getting the concept so these concepts are there with you uh, as long as you have the recording and you don't lose it you will have these concepts with you for you to refer back to there's also an amazing manual that comes with the class which is like priceless Yes, Shika, did you want to ask something? Ah, uh, Nitya, this is Shilpa here. Hi, Shilpa. Hi. Um. Uh, okay. Two quite different questions. I mean, I think they're separate questions in my head as well. One is um. Okay, I recently moved countries. Okay, I'm I'm I no longer live in India. Uh, my sense of you know entities initially started with fear. but post access foundation etc i have no fear but a more of a sense of curiosity i have not yet done the tte yet uh, but looking forward you know maybe sometime soon uh, so my question is one how does distance affect entities i feel that the energy you know in in the country that i live now the place that i live now is very different than what it was in india but i am still me so i mean that's something which i would just want to hear your thoughts on uh secondly what about sex and entities uh like you said it's uh, entities is more about receiving and actually so is sex right so where where like what what connects these two any any thoughts on both these ideas i'd love to hear <laughs> uh it is true when you go to a different place obviously the energy is different the entities of the trees are different the entities of 
uh, the country is a different the country has its own entity uh, their guardian uh, entities for every place so it is true when you perceive it different that's 100 percent true um sex and entities uh you should do talk to the entities intermediate so you'll get more information there it's not in the beginning class but it's an amazing question so i would encourage you to first do the beginning class and then do the intermediate class yes. and you yes yes we'll and, and sex is not only receiving uh like if you have this amazing communion with your body that is receiving if you don't have a point of view about anything that too is receiving so mm -hmm. that's why receiving is the higher harmonics of sex so there's <laughs> much more in receiving than only sex yeah yeah, but sex can also be an addiction. In fact, that is where this question popped in my head when you were talking about addictions, right? Smoking, eating, you know, there are many entities in the body. But I don't know, something that is that is what popped up in my head. So I said, let me, you know, let me kind of put it, put it out there. Yeah, it is true. It can be an addiction. And basic questions, what is this? What can I do with it? Can I change it? How can I change it? Is it an entity? If it's an entity, then you uh, go for the talk to the entities tools, which you can mm -hmm. learn and use. If yes. it's something else, then what's the awareness? You know, ask the right, ask questions around it. Mm, sure. Yeah. Nice. You can nice. you can take sessions nice. from me also if you if if you guys would like to you know clear entities and you're not sure how to do it. We offer sessions. Even Tasneem offers sessions. You can take private sessions too. Sure. Yes, Shika. What what is your question? Shika, is it when you see repeated numbers? Do they do they does this mean that entities are trying to signal you? Is that your question? Oh, where is Shika? I thought she raised a hand. Yes, Shika. I can't I can see you. Can't hear you. I, I can't hear you, Shika. Uh something's up with the audio. So is it the question that you've typed? When you see repeated numbers, does it mean entities are trying to signal you? Is that what you're asking? Okay. Um, it could be, it could not be. So you can't conclude anything. We have to ask questions. Hey, is that an entity or is it something else? Or is it just a coincidence? I saw the number. So in access, we don't conclude. We have to follow our awareness um, of what it is. Because numbers are not the only way entities are going to signal you, right? And I see dead people in my dreams. How amazing. So you're aware, you're gifted. I don't know what if you're saying that statement. You are gifted. And would you like those uh, those beings to kind of stop disturbing you in your sleep and dreams? We do have something called business hours in, again, the Talk to the Entities class, which is an amazing tool which you can use to stop this. When we say a particular day is unlucky for me, could it be because of an entity on that day? Yeah, that entity is you probably, because when you say it's unlucky, it will become unlucky. You're that powerful. So again, the um, thing is, we don't have to conclude anything about this is an entity, that is an entity, or an entity is because uh, this person who is 30 years old has a 60-year-old disease. It could be anything. One cause could be entity. So we have to understand the tools. First of all, we have to diagnose, is, there an, is it an entity or not, before we can uh, you know, do the next steps. And we don't have to assume that everything is because of entities, because a lot of problems are because of the biggest entity in your life, that's you. Major problems. And then the other entities cause other problems. So not all problems are because of entities too. Uh, Vidya, hi, this is Kalpana. Can I hi, ask Kalpana. one question? Hi, darling. How are you? Very well. Hi, Tasneem. Good to, good to see your face too on the call. Yeah, Though Kalpana, you, you can ask only no, one question. Because you okay. said, can I ask one question? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> okay. So uh, the other day in the morning, if you remember, I was uh, really crying because this colleague yeah, of mine who died yeah. uh, at a very early age. And you know what? I mean, almost a week back, I saw him in my dream where I did not, uh, where I actually could not make out that he's dead. And he was talking to me. He said that uh, we were standing in a cafeteria in our own hotel and he was uh, offering water. So we were having water and suddenly in the dream only I realized that he is dead. And um, I don't know, I just want to ask for your, uh, you know, little clarity on that. And when I realized that he is dead and he doesn't know that he is the being without the body now, and I opened the portal and let him go. So I don't know whether I did a right or wrong thing, but I, after that, I did not see him, but I saw, I felt that he was very happy and pleased to go. So... 
Uh, I know there is nothing right wrong, but I still want your opinion about that. Do you want my opinion or my validation? I think both. <laughs> both. After doing doing that, I was very happy. I felt very light that I I think I really helped him relieve from this, uh, you know, not understanding whether he's has the body or not. And he, uh, I allowed him to go with the processes you taught us in our uh, thing. Um, but I, of course, I would just want to understand, uh, you know, is it right or is just that, you know, because most of the entities, I mean, it's a very weird thing, but uh, most of the entities, you know, that they are being without the body. So is it any way uh, they want to be here or you allow them to actually show them the path to go to the different realm altogether? I don't know is it a relevant question to you or not, but uh, just just asking. So, so let's not doubt yourself. If you felt light, it was probably right. So if you do something right, you will feel light. So go by wh- how, how you felt. And there's no need, you don't need anyone to validate you to tell you that you've done a good job or you're doing it right. So as long as you feel good about it, it should be fine. And, and you can ask, hey, uh, if there's anything more universe, show me. If there's anything else I, I should do, show me. And you should be fine. So the feeling was, you know, I felt very happy. I felt, uh, you know, that I did the right thing for sure because he didn't show up uh, after that. I uh, asked this uh, this question that, you know, was it right or wrong in the dream only? The, the entire thing was in dream. So it came up that, you know, he certainly wanted to look for the path to leave the realm and go to the next uh, level. And he chose me to do that. And that was very all of a sudden. How cool is that? Which happened. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So n- never doubt yourself. And what you see in dreams are not dreams. So a lot of things do work. As long as you feel light, you're in the right track. So you don't have to doubt yourself. If you do, you can always ask universe if there's anything else, show me and your awareness will tell you. Okay. Yes, Ankit? I have one more question, Nitya. Yes. Uh, I think you have already addressed this, but uh, as I'm driving, maybe I uh, didn't... Uh, Notice this that uh, answer. So uh, the question is that: uh, Do these negative, highly negative entities, like which we address as demons or devils, can uh, harm us in some way if we try to clear them or maybe send them to their uh, place where they belong? Uh, see, they will harm you if you don't clear them. Not when you clear them. It's okay. a different point of view, right? If they are there, uh, they do start deteriorating your body because they are targeted to destroy your body. They want to remove the life force from you and slowly start deteriorating your body, right? So if you don't... No, them, uh, actually, uh, I, I understood that. But if they are with, with the, our clients, maybe, let's say uh, that I'm a therapist and I'm clearing them and they are very demonic, very devilish, very highly negative and strong negative entities. So can they harm me or my family if I try to clear them? So remember I said, don't be scared, be scary. If you are the energy... <laughs> That can scare them off, they won't harm you. If you're going to be scared, they will. It depends on what you be. That's why we are called human beings. You can be anything. So if you're going to say the devil is more powerful than thee, that demon is so big, oh no, you will be harmed. But if you're going to say... They can uh, harm us if they are not that much uh, fearless, right? Yeah. uh, Yeah. If you have have a... Not even fearless, your belief. If you have a point of view that they will harm me, then they can. But if you're going to say, hi, demon... Hey, what's it today? Okay, let's let's talk and can you leave? And not talk. Can I clear you and then clear them? Don't talk to demons, but then you can clear them. Mm. So if you do that, it's different. And they most of them want to go. If if the entity has showed up for you or your client, they want to go. And they if there is some demonic, devilish entity which wants to destroy the client, let's say a hypothetical example, and don't want to leave. So what shall I do? Shall I still try to make them uh, leave or... Or what? They come back out. Uh, see, if they have showed up in your session, they want to leave. It is a trick okay. when you believe they okay. don't want to leave. If they do not okay. want to leave, they can just not show up at all. Okay. They don't even have right. to disclose themselves, right? And there are many people who are like, I don't have demons, I don't have ghosts, I don't have any problems because they don't disclose. Mm-hmm. If it shows up, it wants to go. You have to catch that as a therapist and be present okay. and use the tools. Uh, there are amazing access tools to do that. We will, we will. Uh, Tell you exactly how to do that. So you don't have to worry. Once you're through the class, you will know how to do that too. And you can okay. scare them. Uh, you can work on it. Mm-hmm. It's just, and, and the first thing, uh, first, uh, in fact, the first half day we'll spend on addressing your fears. Because you can't do this if you have fear. 
you can't right. let this negative entity or demon will attack me i want to do entity clearing for my clients that won't work so we that don't right. go together so the first thing we'll do is address that for you so you're in a space right. where you're ready to handle it and then you can handle it and then it's easy it's not that hard so that's how it is and if they show up they want to leave if otherwise they won't show up so if you just trust whatever right. what i believe is uh, when a client comes to me with a problem and they tell me nitya can you help i should know it otherwise the client would not have come the universe doesn't give you anything you cannot handle right there are so many therapists why would they come to me of all the people if they've come to me even with something i've never heard before yes. never done before it's so intense and anything i've done before i just believe if they come to me i should know how to do it and that's the adventure right i do believe that that if uh, something has came to me that universe wants me to deal with it yes. and so i'm what, capable enough to do that yeah what if you're present at that time you don't get into fear you will know how to handle mm. it so and right. we will teach you like we'll spend literally half a day uh, to one day getting helping you overcome your fears and doubts before we even get into anything else yeah it's a very well designed course yes rashmi you have a question yeah so uh, two things like uh, you said that if uh, they are not showing up they don't want to be cleared so uh, at... no, not really i said if they don't want to be cleared they need not show up but if you start clearing uh, whoever want, if someone wants to show up they can it's it's not like one you know one conclusion or one way okay so like uh, after i have started clearing my mom in law shows up now and then and uh, she is always very sad and always crying all the time and uh, you know i could is, see is she uh, alive or dead i got she's dead she's dead she's, she's dead okay and if i you know even i was with her after my marriage for 5 or 6 years and i've seen her uh, as a very depressed and very sad person and uh, during the clearings i realized mujhe unka koi ek birth mein dikha ki she had a very traumatic childhood a very scary childhood jiske karan uh, she has this trauma and she was like what she was so how can i help her now that she's not there and she's still holding on to all those fears uh you know please, please do the talk to the entities class or or get a session we can i can help you with that because okay. how we are doing it this is a intro just to explain what talk to the entities yeah, yeah, yeah. not okay. to tell you okay. yeah thank yeah, you yeah, yeah. yes okay. jay lakshmi hey, hi nitya thank you Hello. nitya I, i just heard you saying property entities right so i just wanted to ask you see i have having if uh, there is an issue actually we have built a house and this house is not getting completed since a year and it's actually a small house okay so the other houses and all is getting completed but this one is not getting completed and it's completely locked us out even the main door lock has completely broken and uh, i was like even tomorrow we were going to go and restart the construction but again it stopped so i was having after doing the some of the access uh, class i felt like something is locking or broken can you help me out when you mentioned property entity i felt like asking this question about it is there something related to properties also few entities will occupy this house is situated in a farm it's in a mango yes. orchard yes it is possible that there are entities that occupy the property that don't allow anyone else to come in or do anything and uh, oh. you can you can uh, learn uh, do the class to learn how to clear it or you can take a session with either the same me or Uh, okay. to understand how to get it done to get it done for yourself okay so if it is one more question sorry see if it is like i just like previous lankit was also asking right uh, so sometimes i do see that people but i used to get afraid earlier to deal with them but uh, now uh, i become little conscious and aware and also i start asking questions also and i've stopped becoming uh, afraid of them but then to today also i saw one dead person and he was little uh, he was sad i have never seen this person sad in his entire life he used to be always angry but he was sad because this house is having lot of uh, uh, no unity in the house between the siblings so he was sad and he was saying like you guys go out for some times and come back so like this so i'm like thinking like why it is coming up to me now this this are is it related should i go and uh, 
listen to this or how was it because i never had this person in my dream and suddenly it came to me very viciously saying i'm very upset have you done uh, bars or foundation or talk to the entities what i've you- i've done uh, bars i have done um, i keep doing swap uh, bar swaps and also i'm do- i've done mtv ss uh, just recently last week and i'm practicing all these things and swaps i'm doing regularly okay so um it's it's a detailed thing it's actually something where you have to uh understand if they're entities you have to use uh, different tools uh, to uh-huh. first of all figure out if there's an entity uh, does he want clearing from you does he want to contribute to you does he want to receive uh, would he like to would you like to receive from him and how to handle it so you need to uh, a- either take a session or a talk to the entities class or even a okay. foundation class then you can probably get this sorted so, okay i'll 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 connect with you thank you so much yes. anitya thank, thank you have a great yeah. yeah hi anitya Hey Usha, we are just about to finish, and you've joined. Yeah, Nitya, you and look so pretty. Oh my you. God, you have slimmed down so much. I have, I have. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always ready to hear that. So, how does it get better? Right and wrong, good and bad, for and back, all nine shots, boys, girls, and nuns. Okay, guys, so our one hour is up. I will take one last question. I will answer one last question if anyone has, or if you have any questions about the class or the dates, uh, please contact us name or. Kanishka, uh, and they're in the group, or just post it in the WhatsApp group. We will be happy to help you out. You can also contact me directly. Nothing wrong with that. But this name is my amazing host, so do connect with her. Is there any last question, guys? Okay, I'm so grateful for everyone who joined. I hope you had an amazing time. I hope I engaged you. and i think the recording is amazing it it will open up a lot of awareness it's just not a small gift it's like something that will answer a lot of questions of what you have uh, in the world beyond this world yes uh shreed what's your name shreeda hey devi oh, okay hi netya hello i have done i do the courses but i don't know what stops me from practicing it like <laughs> you you only stop yourself Who else talks to you? Why? But when I have invested so much of money because I wanted to know, learn, and practice, then I don't understand. Uh, probably you have too much money, so you're like okay to spend more. You have to ask yourself what's the value of not using the tools. What's the value of having the knowledge and not using it? Okay, I would run that process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And the value sometimes is like I would just like to not change. I would like to just be in the same place I am, uh, or I'm not ready to receive too much goodness. And you just become more happier when you do this stuff. So, you know, like people like to hold on to whatever it is. So, what's the value of knowing the tools and not using them? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, all nine shots, boys, poets, and yachts. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're done for today. Does anyone say anything else you want to say? No, yes, Nitya, you have me. covered it so beautifully. It was an amazing session mm-hmm. with so much, so much information that on and so many questions answered already. So, Nitya, would would you would you be sharing the recordings with us? Yes, I will. I will post them. Yeah. Okay thank you people i had an amazing time thank you for thank you nitya thank you everyone for contributing to this call thank you thank you nitya i must say this was amazing full of gratitude for this call and for you thank you thank you for the name thank you bye and i look forward to all the people in bodies at indore for this yes. class please yes. do come how uh, does it get even better than that how does it get better thank you bye bye